Hi guys, so today I want to show you how to link uh, two separate HTML files in one. For example, so here I have home page and I have a, uh, a contact page. And for both of this, there are two HTML files. In my uh, project folder, you can see I have contact HTML and index HTML as well as CSS files. And the two files that I have in my uh, Visual Studio code, I have already uh, index HTML and contact uh, HTML files created. So um, now, as you can see, when I I am currently in my um, um, index HTML and that's the home page when I click on contact page um, because it's not linked nothing happens this is my second file which is opened in the browser so that's the contact page and also when I click on home page nothing happens so let's link these two together and it's very very simple Though, I must say, when I was just starting as a as self-taught, it took me hours to actually find out. So it, hopefully my, my um, video will help you. Okay, so I am in my uh, first file, index.html. And all you need to do, let me show you here. So I have contact.html, index.html, and I have CSS for styling. All you need to do is um, say exactly as it is. So for the home page, you um, need to give the name exactly as uh, what the home page is for me it's index html index dot html and then for contact page it's contact dot html i will save and here you will see i will refresh when I click on contact, it changes. When I click on home, it does not change. Because from contact, uh, I'm not linked to, to home page. So let me um, do this now. I go to my contact in uh, HTML and I do just the same. For home, it's index HTML and for contact, it's contact HTML. And then I will save it. Refresh. So I'm uh, in my contact when I click on home. And now you see they are linked and work it, working very well, nicely together. That's simple. And so you might have um, many more page pages like for example a uh, portfolio page and your file might be called portfolio.html so if you had another um, li element here you would simply call portfolio.html hope it was helpful if you have any questions let me know in comments below and don't forget to subscribe for my weekly coding tutorials See you next time. Bye.